This is going to be your weekly chakra energy check-in if it's meant for you. It's meant for you. We're going to take a look at the energies you may be experiencing throughout your chakras or energy centers in the body. So in the comments, please let me know your word of the day, word of the week. What is your current vibe? So as I'm filming this, it's a dark, dreary, rainy morning and it just feels like odd weather in the sense that it's exhausting. I don't know how many of you have noticed you're extremely tired lately, can't get enough sleep. It's going to be like that for a little while because we're leading up to the new moon solar eclipse in Libra. The reason why is because it takes so much energy to manifest new things and I think that's why we're just really really drained at the moment. So if you need to rest, rest. We're in this little bit of you know no man's land I would describe it for the next little while. We're going to have this solar eclipse and then in October on the 17th we're going to have, I think it's the 17th, we're going to have a full moon in Aries which will be pretty fiery. So October is going to be a month that should be reasonably easy, yet won't totally feel like that. Uh, the astrology is, is pretty tricky. So we've got to navigate through the next little while. So let's take a look at some overall themes and messages that we may be experiencing. And we have here perspective. Love that. You know, it all depends on your perspective right now. You know, this says better off, happiness, clear headspace. Let me tell you what I've been channeling, and uh, I haven't really had a chance to share this much lately, um, but I will next time I'm on live on TikTok and Instagram. But I kind of feel like right now we're going through the motions. Like I said, we're navigating a lot of this energy, and it's not easy, right? Because we know that we have a lot of new things coming. But I would almost describe it as you think you're going to go one way, and then we're going to have a 180. And it's not a bad thing. I would describe it as a blessing in disguise. Something will come up that we may not totally be in tune with, but it will take you in a direction you never thought possible. And it means a lot of changes ahead for you. But I do think that something will come to light. Something will shift where, again, you may not be totally in line with it or think that it's good for you, but it may actually be the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay? So let's take a look at another message here from the four agreements and we have here embrace your freedom wow the word freedom has come up a lot a lot a lot for me lately I think we're going to feel very liberated in so many ways now it does say on here don't take anything personally always always got to remember now embrace your freedom let's see the message on the back it says you gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally no spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be and if you live without fear if you love you will be happy with your life interesting okay let's take a look at a chakra card here to see what else we need to know these cards are ginormous <laughs> gray area learn to scan your body very interesting you might be thinking about your health lately maybe you're wanting to exercise more eat differently i know i've definitely been on a more of a health kick lately where i'm working out more i'm walking more i'm joining you know a rec league uh, for volleyball i'm trying to spark new energy as much as i possibly can if i tell you to spark new energy i definitely need to do the same thing so i know that we're in a bit of a gray area right now and that basically is that no man's land but we have to embrace the freedom what are the things that are going to make us more free well our perspective naturally um our self-care self-worth self-value self-respect all those things you know, and uh, going towards new things. So let's take a look at the chakra or energy centers in the body. We're going to start with the root chakra, which is your Mars energy, which is your foundation, your drive. Let's see. And we have the eight of swords. Now we have a red card, which is the root chakra, uh, the illusion of mental entrapment. So how many of you right now are overthinking everything? everything oops that's my cards look at this now as i'm knocking the camera and dropping my cards pardon me hmm i started with these cards on this side usually i have them the other way that's okay we'll do something differently let's embrace change let's see and we have the cat interesting the red energy um the cat energy is about being aloof 
you know, uh, unaffected. It's almost like you have to get out of your headspace and be a little bit more unaffected, detached. You know, don't let things get to you the way they normally would. Let's see. Ah, the church card. Okay, this can be religion, family values, marriage, belief system, and programming. So I think that there's people, naturally, who are in their head, overthinking everything, saying an old story. And I keep repeating this every day, every week. Nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you're struggling with being in the same position and you want something to change, you've got to make a move, even if it's a small one. You can't change everything overnight, but you can with little steps. Let's take a look at Venus, the sacral chakra. And we have here the eight of wands. Eight, eight could be an angel number that you're seeing. Notice, oh, I got a kitty cat going crazy in the background here. Um, eight of wands is shooting your shot and manifestation. Um, it's another red card. So interesting that the root chakra is really showing here. And yeah, I mean, how do you know something's not the best thing that ever happened to you? Like, how do you know until you try or put yourself out there? You know, you can't be necessarily all knowing and have predictive programming. You know, you have to allow yourself to learn as you go and see. Let's take a look at another card, the flamingos. Okay, so this could be um, about love, you know, soulmates, lovers, union, courtship. I really feel like opening your heart is super important right now. And everybody's so afraid of this because they hear all the bad stories about dating and relationships. And I'm of the opposite mindset. Every day's a new day. You get a thicker skin. You keep putting yourself out there. You work on yourself. The more you work on you, the more you feel good about you, that self-worth, self-value, self-respect, the better things get. I've definitely been through that myself personally. And with that, we have here... Um, the, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. Look, yes, I was saying down here to detach yourself from, you know, old stories, okay? The love aspect, you've got to let go of old stories that don't serve you in regards to relationships too because you don't want the same old, same old, okay? Now, um, you've got to self-reflect a little bit here. There's the card, self-reflect, right? All the stuff in the sacral chakra is self, self-worth, self-value, self-respect. So you've got to basically think it over, but not to the point of overdoing it, okay? It's okay to think about your next steps, but to be in fear of them is not going to help you in any way, okay? So you've got some thinking to do, but I want you to detach from all these old stories that just don't serve you anymore. Now let's take a look at the solar plexus. This is your personal power. And we have here the queen of wands, confidence. You gotta strut your stuff. You gotta put yourself out there. You gotta believe in yourself. The queen of wands is known for having a little black cat. And the reason for that is because, you know, back in the day, you know, in the early times of tarot, the idea was black cats were seen as, you know, bad signs, you know? And so therefore, you know, she said, I don't really care. I'm going to have my little black kitty. And so, you know, even if someone said, oh, that's, you know, that's, uh, you know, black magic or that's like witchcraft, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, she didn't care. She was going to do whatever she wanted. And so it's basically having a level of confidence in yourself to say, I'm not going to care what other people think. I'm going to do whatever I want. So with that, we have here unlikely. So that's the, that's the biggest obstacle is that somebody is saying it's unlikely. I can't do it. And you got to ask yourself, why tell yourself that story? It doesn't serve any purpose. All it does is it keeps you held back and in a comfort zone that's not so comfortable. So let's see, what else do we need to know? The house, roots, comfort, safety. It's because it's a comfort zone. People don't like to leave the comfort zone, yet they want to, right? Okay, let's take a look here at the heart chakra. What do we need to know about matters of the heart? Nine of Cups, ask and you shall receive. If you really think about it, what do you want to manifest? What are your intentions? What are your goals? What are you striving towards? What are you working towards? Right? You got to have hope. You got to have faith. You've got to have perseverance. You know, nobody said this was easy. It's definitely not easy, but anything is possible. 
and there's the ballet shoes. See, look, stamina, endurance, repetition, effort required. I mean, oh, look, 99 could be an angel number you're seeing. Um, oh, 999. There you go. Nines are about, you know, ending cycles, getting close to the end, and then starting something new. Um, you've got to be strong. Not all the time, but you've got to be strong enough to make the moves that you need to make. Okay? Nobody says you have to be perfect. We're all human. But we have to ask, and we've got to strive towards that goal. We've got to push through, even when it's uncomfortable. The dolphins, don't you just want peace? I mean, I talk about this all the time, how important peace is. You know? We want to be playful. We want to have fun. We don't want to be serious all the time. We don't want to go through heartache. We don't want stress. But it's yet, but yet we're so programmed to that energy, right? Because our nervous system just gets so accustomed to this. You know, it's kind of like gambling. You know, when you think of a slot machine, you have a high, you have a high, then a low, then a high, then a low, 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 high, low, and so on and so forth. You know, it plays with you. And so when you don't have consistency or repetition in your life, how can you really get the stability you're looking for, right? You've got to make a new normal. Let's take a look at um, the throat chakra. Okay, princess of coins, studying and learning, recognition. Maybe there's something that needs to be communicated in regards to uh, a learning experience or a recognition of something. It could also symbolize an offer. You know, there's possibly an offer that's communicated. Let's see what else. The yarn. Okay. Complications. Is it complicated because it's truly complicated or because you're making it complicated? So what's complicated about this conversation or about this offer or recognizing something? The magnet. Are you being pulled backwards or forwards? Which one? You got to be very careful. Let's take a look at the third eye. This is your intuition. Eight of Cups. Your intuition is telling you to walk away from something that no longer serves you, but you might be afraid of it and you might have anxiety over it. And that's where it gets really tricky because sometimes we get in our own way. And that's why I was saying, is it truly complicated? And when you wait and you put something off, it often gets more complicated. The more you push something away or the more you're in fear of doing something, the harder it gets to actually do. And the universe will respond in various ways. And that's how we get these tower moments. Now we had three eights here. Can you imagine? Look at that. We're going back to the foundation here, right? And yet we're going up the chakras. So there's definitely a full circle moment coming here. The well, everything is for a deeper meaning. And this is why I, back to what I was saying about my channeling earlier, by the way, it's a number eight. There you go. Um, Look, I think that this 180 that we're going to have or this shift in, in a direction we never thought possible or it's unexpected is going to have a purpose behind it. And I don't think we're going to necessarily know what it is in the moment, but we'll see it later. We'll recognize it later. I would call it a blessing in disguise. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we need to know? The moose. I need you to stay calm, cool, collected confident in what you're doing trust your intuition everything's gonna be okay let's take a look at the crown chakra the downloads yeah the knight of wands you're getting like a spark of motivation but you have to be careful because that energy yeah it's passion in the pants it's beautiful it, it, it's hot but it rides in quickly and it leaves just as fast so be mindful of your motivation. You want to find ways to motivate yourself moving forward. And this says person of earth. You might be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or have those placements, or dealing with somebody who is possibly hot and cold. But besides all that, this is about being grounded and secure. Okay? Nurturing. Know that you're going to be prosperous. But you got to be careful with stubbornness that can get in the way. Or being materialistic. Like we have two sides. There's two sides to this card. You can be grounded, nurturing, prosperous. 
or, you know, you can be stubborn. You can be materialistic. You know, there can be things that kind of get in your way of, of pushing yourself forward. And let's see what else here. The Falcon, trust your intuition and rise above. You're going through a major, major change. This is a reminder again, trust your intuition, your third eye. And if you're third, it's, it's coming right back to you. It's almost like you make a move, right? You're, you're, you're thinking and you're motivated. And then all of a sudden, like, okay, you're not sure what to do. Well, trust your, trust your intuition. And if your intuition says walk away, believe in yourself. Okay. So that being said, um, let me take couple of these divine compass cards to see what we need to know we need direction right let's see breakthrough see the cat energy we talked about the cat earlier navigate life's many twists and turns with elegance and resilience you have a magic opportunity sure do okay and with that dream weaver dreaming and imagining brings your powerful vision into reality make miracles that's all about manifestation. Now, I will say dreams, if you've been having very vivid dreams, no surprise, I have been too. Um, a lot of things are coming through dreams, like messages and such. So I really appreciate you watching this reading. Uh, if you could please give me a like, a comment, a subscribe, it would really mean a lot to me. It helps people find my videos with the YouTube algorithm. If you'd like to do a personal reading with me, the link is in my bio. Again, thank you very much, and I wish you an amazing day.